Hey guys, this is my review of Killers of the Flower Moon. The setting is great, the time period is great, Martin Scorsese did a great job, and Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro were awesome in this. But I want to really focus on my light worker's perspective of this movie. I thought this movie was absolutely crazy. I couldn't believe that this happened, and also in the way that it happened. So we have to understand when we allow man to corrupt things, to be susceptible to corruption, to evil, and also believing that it is justified, we allow ourselves to lose ourselves within that image because of money, greed, and lust. So what's interesting about this movie is that it details 25 counts of murders against the Osage Indians, and also King Hale, who was the ringleader behind all this, convinced Ernest Burkhart that all of this was right, that all of this was okay. And that not only did he put medicine into his wife to make her more sick and more slowed down, but everybody in this movie has no filter. The, the people that are in this movie doing all the bad deeds are just absolutely terrible. They walk around like it didn't even happen, like it wasn't an important thing. And then there is a change of heart in Ernest Burkhart at the very end where he just basically owns up to all of the things that were done in the movie. So what's interesting about this movie is that you kind of see a contrast of the villain and the person that was susceptible to the villain. And also we've probably had lifetimes that we're eradicating within this existence that are dealing with this. So my Osage Indian guides told me to watch this movie because I have a lot of guides that are the Osage Indians. So what's very significant about this film is that Martin Scorsese did not really let up. I mean, this thing is a three hour and 30 minutes of just pure craziness. And also just the stupidity of Ernest Burkhart in doing some of the things that he did. It just seemed like he was taken advantage of because of his disposition, because of his ailments, and also because he was just kind of an idiot. He was kind of stupid, you know? And also the very fact that his wife got the worst of it because she was being put under medicine that just slowed her down. And also the doctors were in on this. The whole town was in on this. The sheriff was in on this. So it wasn't just one person. It was everybody. So this is what I mean when we cleanse past lifetime progressions like this. But also in our everyday life, there are figures just like this. So it's kind of understanding that this isn't just a movie. This is more than a movie. This is a dissertation and a word picture of what has been done over the past centuries against a generation of people, against different races of people. So I think you should watch this movie if you do have a past lifetime progression within this. But also I think it's a great tool for learning to not be like this, to not do stuff like this. Because a lot of the stuff that was in the movie, just couldn't believe that they got away with it for that long and no investigations. So thank you, this is my review of Killers of the Flower Moon. Wonderful movie, wonderful director, and great actors.